It's the Saturday wrap. The Saturday wrap for Saturday the 15th of January 2022. I'm getting in early. It's not a party. It's from Aldi's. So it's essential shopping. Actually, it's very nice. Um, I give it a B++. I'm not altogether sure that I will give it that again. But um, Blood Red Orange IPA, one of the better ones that you can get from Aldi. Okay, that was a hint. Um, if you haven't seen this before, it's me talking about my past week. And that's generally politics, beer, tech, and snark. So, before the usual of word, app, and thing of the week, politics. Let's start with UK politics. If you're the Prime Minister, you are the leader. Leaders lead by example. You do not break all the rules that you introduce. And you don't need an inquiry to tell you that you broke the rules. You should recognise that. If you can't recognise that, it's time to go. I'm sorry, but there it is. It's not very difficult. Leadership. And here in Wales, Eric Honecker. Two weeks ago, two weeks ago, we had a tsunami of cases. Last week, we had the we're in the eye of the storm. This week, to save the rugby internationals being played in the Tottenham Hotspur ground, Cases are going down, which they always were. And Swansea, a bit like Imperial Colleges, um, predictions are usually wrong and were wrong. Um, so now they're rolling back these things. Although we still have the nonsense of Chester City Football Club. Yeah, here in Wales, we make things up as we go along, which is Quite like what happens in other parts of the UK, um, but science, even when it's not science, even when we change our mind, even when we sit on park benches, when we say we can't and have food and when we say we can't and then stay in government, they're all the same, really. Ah, anyway, so... What was the word of the week? Okay, so obviously one of the words of the week is leadership. Or not. My word of the week is tipler. And I'll tell you where I get this in a little while, but tipler, to tipple, to drink. Uh, beloved of the Her Majesty's son, teeny tipplers. It doesn't mean drunk, it just means someone who is, well, invested in mm, alcoholic beverages a tipple usually a smaller drink usually a short but uh, can be anything can even be something from aldi anyway um app of the week i think i mentioned it last week copy em. um the replacement for copied okay truth be known i prefer copied or oh, copied user interface However, CopyM supported and it runs like stink. It is really fast and it syncs really like sync. I oh, can't even say it anyway, but it's a great app. Um, I think it was $12.99 on the Mac. And that's a one off. And if you want it on iOS or iPad OS and you want it to sync there, a $7.99, although the first month is a trial. So I took up the trial. Yeah, I'm going to be signing up straight away when it renews. No problem at all. And the thing of the week, going back to the first thing of the week, which is the word of the week, if you're a camera member, or even if you're not, and if you don't know what camera is, it's the campaign for Real Ale. Real Ale as in Cascale. Real Ale that only lasts about three or four days after you've uh, opened the cask. You know, with the hand pumps and such like various branches of camera um the one in gloucestershire they have a magazine it's called the tipler it's a really good read because pubs pubs if they're any good they're the heart of the community just a word in here the pelican in gloucester 
traditional pub, traditional fire, cask ales, keg ales, cans and bottles, a great welcome, and cheese and onion rolls on Fridays and Saturdays. They're having a beer festival, 10th, 11th, and 12th of February. I need to be going. Anyway, right, okay. So, um, yeah, Copy M got installed last Saturday. On Sunday, I was off. I was off on MBO 1 2022 to Gloucester, um, basically because I needed a Beano. It was really for CES. Well, CES was the week before and was so so. But there you go. Um, Sunday meant I could start later and the motorway not be clogged up. Um, it also meant the rooms were cheaper. So started out, well, I was going to start out in Costa Coffee, which is right next to the Premier Room on the quayside. It wasn't open. However, Spoons, the Lord High Constable of England, that was open. And then at 12 o'clock, across the road into a house four of the Gloucester Brewery. And I came away with another card, which I didn't spend all the beer on because it's self-service bar. Well, you just put your card up there. And I had a training lesson from the bar manager. She is excellent. Ended up with a t-shirt as well. Obviously, I had to buy it. But, you know. You know, you know, you know, you know. Um, Yeah, uh, and that was the Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Costa Coffee, it was open. Um, into the Regal, which is the Weatherspoons in the centre of Gloucester. And after that, into the Pelican Inn. Repeat three times. Really excellent beers in the Pelican Inn. They are a untapped place. So they've got screens up and you can see all your check-ins and you can check what beers they have from afar. Made some friends there, even more friends. And Mike, the landlord, he's the topest man. Really, 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 really. And I followed the tennis. Uh, a bit like our politics, Australian and Serbian politics. Yeah, everyone believes what they want to believe. and Perhaps not everyone's being truthful and it's a bit of a farce. Luckily, I'm not all that keen on tennis, but, you know, he says. And um, on the Monday, um, best before dates from Morrison's. They're getting rid of them. They suggest you just sniff. To be honest, I think a lot of people, um, especially if it's milk or such like, just open the top, sniff, and then go for it. Mind you, if they pour it out and it's a big chunk of milk, um, you know, it's gone. I think of this as, well, generally positive. I like to see best before dates, but you always give it the sniff. Wonder if any of the others will follow. So far, nothing yet. Oh, there was, well, it was on Instagram and then it was on Facebook. Facebook? Facebook. Um, Chris, Chris, I can't think of his name, but he used to run D Hems and he used to run the City Arms and now he's in charge of the happy little pub company. Anyway, Bubs, which is now closed, is coming back, but not quite as Bubs. It's going to have a coffee bar feel about it. It's still going to do quirky craft ales. From that, I get, I can go into this place at nine o'clock in the morning, drink a couple of coffees, and then start on the fine nails. If that's the case, I'm all in. It sounds good. He's talking about 30 to 40 days before it kicks in. I'm working on the principle, that's the beginning of March. And it's gonna be in the center of town. I don't know how things are gonna work out, but I am very, very positive about the whole thing. Plus, they have great staff, and they know their beers. They really know their beers. So, there's positive. On the negative path, um, Burke Shelley, the bass player and lead singer of Budgie. Budgie as in, they originally did Bread Fan, and Panzer Division's Destroyed, 
and I Turned to Stone was part one and two, and they were supported by Sassafras. And I saw them in the top rank, and I've seen them quite a few other places. Um, he passed away this week. I'm going to miss him. If you ever get the chance, type into YouTube, Bread Fan Budgie. Um, there's a recording of it done in a studio. I'm reckoning early 70s, something like that. Really, really good. And he's going to be missed a lot because he was one of Wales' finest. Bye-bye, Burke. Hmm. Okay. And Boris, he got caught out again having another party. And then there was another one, another one. And there was PMQs and he stayed. I really thought that if he had anything about him, he would go again. You don't need an inquiry. You know what you did. <sighs> yeah, leadership. Anyway, Thursday I came home. It was frosty. It was very foggy and the keys is well right along the keys so there's water so that was very foggy and i waited until 10 o'clock and it was still foggy mind you most of the m5 was okay until i got off and came to the seven bridge which of course is more water and that was very foggy home was very sunny frosty overnight but very very sunny um and well Another Apple update, uh, iPad OS and iOS 15.2.1, it's a big one, it takes ages, it just fixes things really. Um, I don't know what other security bits it fixes, I don't think it does, but get it done. Uh. <laughs> um, and then um, it sort of snuck out that Mr. Drakeford has decided that this thing is slowly going away and we can wind things back and the WRU won't have to play their matches in the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, which would make him look like a fool. Um, so no tsunami, no eye of the storm. Um, but when this is all over, we will still have Vax passes, which don't seem to work at all. But hey, uh, here in Wales, we do things uh, differently. Thank you, Mr. Eric Honecker. Yeah. Right. Um, Friday into Cardiff. An air tag. In and out. No messing around. Efficient. I wish they were cheaper. I wish they were having a sale. But that makes three of them now. And in the afternoon... Number six of six, the final, as far as we are aware, episode on Prime of The Expanse. Well worth watching. Double length episode. Could have gone on to triple or quadruple length. Uh, there are more books. I hope we go on to 7th and 8th and 9th. Uh, nothing at the moment, but well worth a watch. And then I watched Moon. I think it was David Bowie's son. That's a little bit. And it's well worth a watch as well. So it became Streaming Friday. Hmm. Okay, so that was my week today. Well, I should be, be knowing, but I've had a high-speed attack of really, really can't be bothered. And I'm going to potch around. Although I have changed the bed. And there is some washing on the line, which is... Not grow, uh, drying very well because it's grey, it's very grey. Anyway, um, that's it. Um, thank you. Um, comments in the usual places. Bye bye. Haven't shaved, haven't put contact lenses in. That's my sort of Saturday. Bye bye. <laughs>